blood vessels are vital for the survival of every tissue in our body. The capillaries transport the blood that carries nutrients, biochemical signal molecules, and oxygen to every cell in the body. For years, scientists have been investigating ways of generating biological tissue outside the body, for example, to provide tissue models for testing drugs or to replace diseased tissues within the organism. Fraunhofer IgB aims to rebuild three-dimensional pieces of skin, including a tubular supply system that can take over the function of the blood vessel system. In the body, the capillaries are surrounded by tissue. Biological tissues are composed of cells and the tissue matrix. This matrix consists of biological polymers, which are produced by the cells, for example, collagen, or hyaluronic acid. In order to provide a natural-like environment for the cells, the Fraunhofer IgB researchers used the biopolymers from the natural tissue matrix. The biopolymers first have to be modified chemically in such a way that they can react with each other to form stable hydrogel matrices. By adjusting the degree of chemical modification, the scientist can even control the viscosity of the biopolymer solutions. Also, the softness and stability of the gel matrix can be customized. Apart from generating the tissue matrix, artificial blood vessels can be fabricated with the cross-linkable biopolymers by means of UV curing. Bio-based tubes are naturally permeable for all water-soluble substances. In order to simulate a real blood vessel, the luminal wall of the tubes has to be lined by endothelial cells, the cells that form the wall of natural blood vessels. The system uses human endothelial cells to line the inner wall of the tubes. If plastic tubes with their artificial surface are used instead of biopolymers, the surface has to be coated with biological molecules first, in order to enable the cells to adhere to the surface. Biological surface coating and seeding endothelial cells into the tubes have been developed and can now be applied to various sorts of materials and geometries. The seeding efficiency is analyzed under the microscope. A closed cell monolayer is indispensable to controlling the transfer of substances. Currently, the assembly of the tubular system is still done manually. In the next step, the cell culture medium is flushed through the tubes just like blood in real blood vessels. The aim for the future is to perform the complete assembly automatically in order to produce high numbers of identical tissue. In natural tissue, nutrients and gases cross the blood vessel walls and move to the cells outside the capillaries. The presence of endothelial cells at luminal walls of the supply tubes will increasingly enable studies addressing the transfer of substances between blood and tissues and the other way around. The scientists aim to provide tissue models that can be used in future to investigate the permeation and accumulation of drugs or toxins. Together with partners, the IGB scientists aim to achieve automation of cell handling and assembly of artificial tissue. Cells from fatty tissue and cross-linkable gelatin form a bio-ink that can be printed into the bioreactor and subsequently cross-linked with soft UV irradiation. The pump transports media with nutrients through the tubular system, just like the heart pumps the blood through the organism. The Fraunhofer IgB 
enables the production of tubular supply systems, which can be used in bioreactors and the assembly of three-dimensional bio-artificial tissues like fatty tissue. The research aims to continue further modification of the material properties. In future, the researchers anticipate introducing cells from various tissues into tailored tissue matrices, even tissue models comprising human cells. Such models could generate more relevant data in pharmacological and medical testing than animal studies and will then save the lives of the animals. And what about the replacement of real blood vessels? Currently, the fabrication of functional small diameter vascular grafts remains a vision for the distant future. The mechanical properties of natural blood vessels are very well adapted to the various tasks in the body, like maintaining the blood pressure and preventing bleeding, and these cannot be reconstructed today.